So it's your host Rob here for the Best of British Show. And today I'm joined by the super producer that is ADP. Yes. How you doing, man? Good, yeah, man. I yeah, like your sunglasses, you. man. Hey. Dope, man. Thank you, He's man. definitely got a producer vibe. I get that off you, man. <laughs> so different. it's different from artists. Artists yeah. and producers, you can kind of smell them. I tell you, they're so different, man. So uh, you've got a pretty extensive CV. Yeah. There's so much you've done for someone who don't know already. I mean, you've worked with a number of big artists, record-breaking projects. Mm. Ones that stand out for me is the Young Kings one, yeah. did with Crepton Conan, and also The Long Way Home. Yeah. So how did that relationship form? Um, we met via my old manager, mm. um, had a meeting with their old manager at the time. Um, they were looking for like, or the manager was looking for like club, kind of more EDM-influenced clubs mm-hmm. onto them at the time. Um, and I had this like one beat, it was like, that I just made it was like some dubstep-ish trap kind of thing and it was like oh this is kind of perfect for what I want mm-hmm. and then they came in we did the session we didn't kind of know what was going on at the time and mm-hmm. I was like is this really what you don't want to do yeah. um, and then they were like oh if you've got any like other beats just um, send them over like rap beats or whatever because mm-hmm. we're looking to do uh, like a four three four track little mini EP called mm-hmm. Quick Thing so I was like, alright, cool, so I like, made some beats, sent them over, they're like, oh, this is sick, we're gonna look to put, like, I think the first one, they were like, oh, we wanna put Tiny on this or something. Okay, yeah. And I was like, alright, sweet, and then I sent them that, and then I sent them another one, I was like, yeah, we're gonna put Fecky on this, gigs on this, da da da. Then a four track mini EP turned into, let's do a whole mixtape, full blown yeah. mixtape, and then they had other songs that they had done anyway with other producers, so um, we kind of got them, finished them up, and then I kind of just, kind of made all the new ones and then yeah Young Kings kind of happened yeah. from there yeah. and you also did Freak of the Week as well yeah. right of the new one which is mixed with kind of a is it a Beanie Man yeah, kind of thing yeah, the new one yeah, yeah. that was a smash as we yeah. know it had Jeremiah on it as well um, would you say out of the two projects was that your biggest yeah so for the fact that I got to have songs of Wiz Khalifa Rick mm-hmm. Ross Ed Sheeran YG mm-hmm. Um, Jeremiah, yeah, um, yeah, that was a sick project. Yeah, it was like both of our yeah. first album, right, to work on. You know what I mean? So it was my first time being an exec producer and forming a whole project mm. and like finishing other people's songs to match the mood of the album and all that kind of stuff. So, how do you go about fitting the right artist with your beats? Um, well, to be honest, I never. I'm not a producer that just makes beats and plays mm-hmm. to the artists in the room. Mm-hmm. I like to create with them from scratch. Mm-hmm. So I really kind of... They, what, they, what they end up leaving with is I know they definitely like. Mm-hmm. Because I've started it with them from the jump, from the first thing I'm playing. If they don't like it, I'm, I'm going to keep going until mm-hmm. they click in their head. They're like, yeah, that's it. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah, so everything's kind of tailored to the eyes. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? To what they want at that precise moment. And that's a massive, massive track, Bestie. Mm. Massive. Did you expect it to be that big? No. I remember the process. I remember yeah. really looking into the process and it kind of happened just quite fluidly. Young put it out more of a soft release. Just mm. put out music, put out the content. We, we all loved the song, but we, didn't, we weren't like, this is a hit. This mm. song is a hit. This is going to go and go crazy. We just put it out and then it kind of just organically grew and grew and grew and then next thing, it, got, it was getting playlisted on radio mm-hmm. and stuff and then next thing it was like, okay, Radio 1 plays. So I'm like, oh, okay, yeah. it's a good sign and it kind of skyrocketed from there and then just kept growing, started charting in the iTunes chart and then hit, I think it went like number 60 on the official charts and then the week after that it went up to 50 and I was like, okay, this is a bit mad. Yeah. Week after that, top 40, going, right? I was like, this is mad. And then it kept going, top 30, top 20. Mm. Then we hit top 10, it was on Capital FM playlist, it was like, everywhere, like, I couldn't get away from it. <laughs> it got great. girls singing on their Snapchat. Yeah, well, like, man, the it became a one. Yeah, yeah. But you also got production credit on Chris Brown's Hot yeah. on a Full Moon album. How yeah. did that come about? Um, so me and my close friend Dacom, who's a sick songwriter and producer as well, mm. um, he had a, a plug to um, a producer, engineer, um, out in the States who was working closely with Chris Brown. Mm-hmm. Um, so, and he already had, um, my friend Dave, he already had like two two songs that Chris had cut of his already. 
So we knew we had a, a certified in with it. So then we literally just, we made like two or three songs and sent them over. And then literally the same day we sent them over, they were like, yeah, can you send the beat and the, your vocal parts, Chris is gonna cut it tonight. So like, oh, sick. Sent them over, he cut the songs. We never got any like MP3s back because I was weird about all that. Mm, yeah, 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 league and stuff. Right? Um, and then, but a year later, came out. Yeah. Yeah, both were on there. The two that we were like, yeah, these are the ones. Mm. Came out on the album. That's sick. Yeah. And it came as a bit of a surprise then, right? If it's come out, you said yeah, you kind of forgotten about it, and yeah, then it came out. Yeah, it was always in the back of my head, like, what's happening with that Chris Brown stuff? Yeah, yeah. Because then he kept always, like, at that process of him making the album, he kept, like, Instagramming, like, new songs he was working mm. on, and... Yeah, like, where's mine? Song? Yeah, where's mine, bro? What's then, going and on? And then you're you yours, and then you're like, oh, okay. Is he putting it out? I don't know. And then it became a year later. I'm like, I don't know what's happening with this album. Mm. Sounds like all a mess. What's going on? And then eventually, track listing came out. We got the paperwork. And mm-hmm. Yeah. And which tracks were? Uh, Frustrated and If You're Down. That I co-produced with Scripps Riley. And, and the big one you've got out at the moment is, of course, a movie. Yeah. You've got uh, Be Young, Ebenezer, Cranium on that. Serious track, good yeah. track, doing numbers. Just almost at like one million mark as well. Yeah. Just uh, 900,000, 900, I think, at yeah, the moment. Yeah, yeah, more or less. Um, so, no one really expected that link up, if I'm honest. We know you've got an ongoing relationship with Ebenezer, mm-hmm. but what made you decide to get B Young involved in this? Um, me and B were working at the time quite closely, mm-hmm. um, doing a quite a few sessions together. Um, we came, came mad, mad cool, and then um, I just I had the track with the chorus on it of Ebenezer and Ebenezer's verse on it, and I was like, okay, this, I'm going to use this for me. Mm-hmm. Um, so then I sent it to B. I played him in the studio and then he was vibing a bit, so I emailed it to him after just to follow up. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, this is here, bring easy, going, easy right? on this. Mm. And then he, he heard it again, he was like, yeah, yeah this is sick. Like, mm-hmm. um, so he recorded um, his verse to it at, at his, sent it over. Um, and then I was like, can you one more person, but I want to do the international thing again, like mm-hmm. I've done on my previous single. Um, so um, my publisher sent it to Cranium because mm. she publishes both of us. Um, and then, yeah, he heard it, loved it, mm-hmm. done his bit. Sent it well, it's a good fit. I mean, the, uh, yeah, yeah, everyone, it, everyone kind of gels. Normal looks kind of out of place, yeah, that's yeah. what I found anyway. Um, recently, there's been a big rise in producers coming more into the spotlight. So mm-hmm. yourself, other artists, other producers, sorry, uh, still Bangles. I was speaking to Zed Dot the other day. He's saying he wants to put out more stuff for, uh, yeah. for himself. Um, why do you think that is? And is it something that's going to be happening more for yourself? Uh, it's definitely going to be happening more for, for, more for myself. Um, I feel like it's a good time for producers now because I think the public now and like the, young, the younger generation, they, mm. they, they want to know more about who made the song and who produced it, who wrote it. But they're mm. not just oh yeah, it's just the artist, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I feel like it's a, it's a good time now like, for producers to do it because people are realising now, like, without them... Yeah, it's not really popping. It's, it's not just... Gonna, there's nothing, you're not listening to nothing, do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. And I feel like a lot of the new artists coming out, like whether it's Notes and his producer Remedy that mm-hmm. came out together or me and Young and Craig mm-hmm. Conan or um, whoever else, like the, the new artists that they're coming through with their producers mm-hmm. and putting them, kind of giving them shine now as well. Mm-hmm. So it gives them a lot of kind of power now to put out music and be heard. Yeah. Because they're getting plugged by the artists now, do you know what I mean? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. So what would you say is the three key things which make a good producer? Um, Focus, work harder than talent, do you know what I mean? Mm. Keep it working, like, someone that's crazy talented and doesn't work as hard ain't gonna succeed as uh, a person that's that not one. talented and keeps grinding, do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, and listening, definitely listening to who, what's happening around you. Because yeah. I know a lot, a lot of people, like, they're kind of in their own world, Mm. only listening to what they're doing mm-hmm. and not kind of taking in what's happening around them musically mm-hmm. and I feel like you need to kind of take in what's going on to kind of progress and 
stay ahead of the curve. Mm-hmm. So I mean, and you got another song out of my produced by yourself, Young and, and Craig David, yeah. which I did not see coming once again. Yeah. Uh, intimate. So what else can we expect from you apart from that one? I know you're doing some stuff, some do uh, do Leaper. Yeah, I've got yeah, is, do Leaper that came out yesterday. Um, track called Want to. I've got Little Boys, a new single that just came out. Came to surprise. Yeah, yeah. I've got the next one coming out in the next couple of weeks. Um, I've got one on Easy Busy's project, which is totally Actually. left to everything else I'm doing. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it's consistently more and more stuff, huh? Yeah. I'm um, exec producing yeah. artist called Hex, mm-hmm. signed to Warner, I'm doing a lot of his stuff, or all of his stuff, I've mm-hmm. got his next singles coming out soon, um, yeah, my next stuff coming in. It's more and more. Um, your host Rob and I've been joined by ADP. Peace.